This is the Embraer 190E2, an aircraft that represents a significant leap forward in regional jet cabin design, setting new standards for comfort and efficiency in this category. As the middle sibling of Embraer's E2 family, it builds on the success of the original E190 while offering enhanced aerodynamics, better fuel efficiency, and a superior passenger experience. As market demand shifted and competition increased, Embraer realized that the original E-Jets needed to evolve. So they launched the E-2 program in November 2011 to create a new family of planes based on the E-Jet series that would deliver improved fuel efficiency, lower emissions, and enhanced passenger comfort. The E-190E2 was developed as the successor to the original E-190, aimed at meeting the needs of regional airlines while providing a wider operational range. And it features more advanced technology a re-engineered wing, and more efficient engines, on top of incorporating updated avionics, enhanced flight control systems, and new fly-by-wire technology. The plane first took to the skies for its maiden flight on May 23, 2016, and over the next two years. The aircraft underwent rigorous testing and evaluation, leading to its certification in February 2018. Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Embraer E190E2. Stepping inside, the cabin width is 10 feet to 7 inches or 3.23 meters, providing ample space for passengers to enjoy a comfortable journey. The cabin height measures 6 feet 7 inches or 2 meters, which allows most passengers to stand upright while moving down the aisle. With a cabin length of nearly 90 feet or 27.5 meters, the E-190E2 can accommodate up to 114 passengers in a single-class, high-density layout or around 97 passengers in a two-class configuration. Typically, the aircraft features a 2-2 seating arrangement, ensuring every passenger has either a window or aisle seat. In terms of seating dimensions and pitch, the economy-class seats are approximately 18 inches or 45 centimeters wide with a pitch ranging from 29 to 31 inches, or 73 to 78 centimeters, depending on airline preferences. The premium cabin usually offers a pitch of around 34 inches, or 86 centimeters. All seats are designed ergonomically, with adjustable headrests and recline functions that provide enhanced support and relaxation for longer flights. The overhead bins are larger than those found in earlier models, offering generous space for standard carry-on luggage, which ensures efficient storage while minimizing aisle clutter. In-flight entertainment and connectivity options vary based on the airline's preferences, but many airlines opt for high-definition personal screens at each seat, offering an extensive library of movies, TV shows, games, and audio entertainment. Others provide a Wi-Fi-enabled streaming system, allowing passengers to connect their own devices to an onboard server. USB charging ports and AC power outlets are typically available at each seat for device charging. The cabin lighting system uses advanced LED technology to simulate natural light cycles, helping passengers adjust to different time zones and reducing jet lag. The lighting transitions smoothly between different settings, creating a calming environment that enhances the perception of space. Noise and vibration levels are reduced through innovative engineering, including soundproofing and engine placement. The engines are mounted towards the rear of the fuselage, minimizing noise exposure for most passengers, which ensures a relatively quiet cabin environment, even at high speeds. Pressurization and air circulation systems ensure optimal comfort during flight. The cabin is pressurized to the equivalent of around 6,000 feet or 1,830 meters, reducing the effects of fatigue. Air is regularly refreshed using HEPA filters, eliminating contaminants and ensuring consistent airflow throughout the cabin. And finally, lavatories are positioned efficiently, typically at the front and rear of the aircraft. While their design is compact, they feature durable materials, practical layouts, and essential amenities to ensure convenience and cleanliness. Some airlines also include accessible lavatories to accommodate passengers with reduced mobility. Now, let's step into the cockpit. The flight deck centers around a state-of-the-art avionics suite supplied by Honeywell, known as the Primus Epic 2 system. This avionics suite integrates all flight information through four large, high-resolution 13.1-inch LCD screens. These displays serve as the electronic flight instrument system, engine indication and crew alerting system, and navigation displays, 
The EFI Neuros provides pilots with critical flight data like speed, altitude, and attitude. The ACUS offers comprehensive monitoring of engine performance and system alerts, and the ND offers precise route tracking, weather information, and waypoint details. The flight management system ensures optimal flight path calculations for fuel efficiency and adherence to air traffic regulations. The FMS automatically integrates navigation databases with flight plans, allowing for automatic lateral and vertical navigation. It interfaces with the autopilot and autothrottle systems to provide precise path and speed management, reducing pilot workload during long haul operations. The enhanced ground proximity warning system and traffic alert and collision avoidance system form the cornerstone of the safety suite. Age APWS uses terrain mapping and a digital terrain database to warn pilots of potential hazards ahead, preventing controlled flight into terrain. TCAS actively monitors nearby traffic and alerts pilots of potential conflicts, suggesting avoidance maneuvers when necessary. Additionally, predictive wind shear detection and an advanced weather radar system offer enhanced safety during adverse weather conditions. The fly-by-wire flight control system ensures precise aircraft handling. It reduces pilot workload through automatic flight envelope protection, preventing overspeed or excessive banking. The system is designed with multiple redundancy layers, ensuring reliable operation even in the event of a system failure. The flight controls themselves include side stick controllers that offer intuitive handling and reduce pilot fatigue. The cockpit includes cursor control devices and the multifunction control display unit, providing pilots with easy navigation of flight management menus. The CCD enables seamless access to different display modes in system menus, providing pilots with a streamlined interface for managing the avionics. While the MCDU allows data entry for route adjustments, performance calculations, and communication. The Honeywell Avionics Suite also includes advanced communication capabilities through the Aircraft Communications Addressing and Reporting System, or ACARS, which connects pilots to airline operations and air traffic control for real-time data exchange. Ergonomically, the cockpit provides fully adjustable seating with lumbar support, ensuring pilot comfort over long flights, while the overhead panel is logically arranged, giving pilots quick access to electrical, hydraulic, and fuel systems. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Embraer E190E2 is powered by two Pratt & Whitney PW1900G engines, representing a key technological leap in engine design and efficiency. These high-bypass turbofans incorporate Pratt & Whitney's innovative geared turbofan technology, which uses a reduction gearbox to allow the fan and the low-pressure compressor and turbine to operate at optimal speeds. This design significantly improves fuel efficiency, reducing fuel consumption by up to 17% compared to previous generation engines. The engines each produce up to 23,000 pounds force of thrust, giving the plane enough power to handle a wide range of regional routes. The aircraft requires 5,300 feet or 1,615 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day, with a maximum takeoff weight of 124,300 pounds or 56,400 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 29,800 pounds or 13,500 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,500 feet per minute or 760 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 41,000 feet or 12,500 meters. The plane has a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.82 or 473 knots, a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.78 or 450 knots, a maximum range of 2,850 nautical miles or 3,280 miles or 5,280 kilometers and a minimum landing distance of 4,000 feet or 1,215 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Embraer E190 E2 is $53 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.